Hello again everyone, Tim here, timscomputerfix.net. Hey, in this video, I am here to show you how to troubleshoot and correct an issue with File Explorer. In this case, this person has an issue when clicking the File Explorer icon. So when we click it, basically it comes up but it hangs with working on it showing and it doesn't ever proceed from there and then you start getting the spinning circle and if you try to click anything on the side everything just kind of crashes and then you get uh, file explorer not responding error so the way you get rid of this or move out of it is when you click the the uh, X to close that out uh, Windows Explorer completely crashes and reboots then comes back so the funny thing is with this is you can go into another folder and open it and it'll open up and then you can click all of the other items here so um, but uh, but yeah, so File Explorer works in that way, but it's uh, when you, again, right click here and select File Explorer, or you can right click here at the Start button and click File Explorer. Again, this window comes up, and uh, if you try to click anything on it, it crashes. It uh, forces you to have to shut it down by closing this window here and then the entire explorer crashes and then reboots so there's several ways of diagnosing and repairing this problem but the very first thing that you want to do is be sure that you have uh, a healthy hard drive and you you test that by running tools that tells you whether your hard drive is healthy. In this case, I am using Windows Repair Toolbox, and I'll just open that up. And in here, we have a tool that automatically downloads Crystal Disk. And Crystal Disk is a good tool for checking the health of your hard drive. It's right here, Crystal Disk Info. So we'll just click on that and then you'll see down here at the bottom it will download it and then it shows that the status of the hard drive is good. So that's very important. Always start off with that because if not you'll be chasing you'll be chasing your tail trying to correct this problem. It'll never get repaired or you'll end up with new issues and you'll never know why with a bad hard drive you chase ghosts in that case. So so we know that the hard drive is healthy. We'll close those out. So uh, several ways again to try to troubleshoot this problem. Uh, the first one maybe might be to try would be to to reset all of the uh, default uh, file associations with your apps. You want to click the start icon, select the settings gear, and then you want to click apps. And then in here, you want to click Default Apps. Then scroll down to Reset. This will reset the defaults of the file associations with all of your apps. So hit Reset. It'll take just a minute here. And that now is reset. We can close this window. And now let's test to see if that corrected our problem. and it did not okay as you can see we're still crashing here so what we'll do is we'll move on to the next thing to try alright the next thing that I would recommend trying is trying a clean boot this way what we do is we eliminate the fact that any background running programs are causing conflicts with File Explorer so the way we do that 
is that we go down and we right click on the start button select run and then you want to type in msconfig which we already have it filled in here click OK and then in msconfig you want to go to the services tab and then you want to check the hide all Microsoft services and then after that you want to click disable all then you want to go to the startup tab and the startup tab you want to open task manager and then you want to hit the startup tab here and then every item that is listed in the startup tab you want to right click and disable so there's only a few here you may have more or less but you want to go ahead and disable all of those it's not going to hurt anything this is how you troubleshoot and disable all of the background running programs that are non-essential from Microsoft from Windows so we go back to the system config window and we click apply and then we'll click OK now what's going to happen here is your computer is going to want to reboot so we'll go ahead and reboot and see if that corrects the problem OK we've rebooted here so the way one of the good ways you can tell best ways you can tell that you're in a a clean boot environment is whenever you click on your little show hidden icons you'll you'll have maybe one or two at the most instead of several of them like you would usually have down here uh, this is my streamer so that's why that's not gone this is so I can keep my remote session going you may also have the Bluetooth may still be on and you may also have an antivirus showing up in here but that's okay you know you are now in a safe boot environment or a clean boot environment so let's go ahead and check to see if that solved our problem we'll click on our file explorer here it comes up and well that's not working either all right well we know that that wasn't the issue a background running program or anything so we'll close that out and so real quick just the way you get everything back the way you get back to your normal boot right click on the Windows icon hit run go back to MS config you want to go to services tab again and then just select enable all and then go to the startup tab to task manager and go ahead and re-enable these startup items okay so once you've done that you just can click apply and click OK and the computer is going to want to reboot again so let's go ahead and we'll reboot back into normal mode okay we rebooted here so let's test this again of course this isn't going to work but just for kicks let's just test it still not working no problem we'll go to the next step here so what we want to do next is we just want to change the way basically file explorer opens its default page so let's try that so we can open up any one of these folders no problem so we'll open up a folder here and then we can go up top here in the view area we'll click view and then we'll come over here to the options to the far right up top click that once and then we'll do change folder and search options okay here are just some basic default settings when opening file explorer so maybe the first thing we will try to change is this drop down box here 
to where it says quick access when you open file explorer we'll change that to this PC and we'll click apply all right and let's see if that fix the issue we'll click on file explorer ah look at there it looks like we are working now very interesting so here we have all of our options we can select let's close it off again let's try it a different way right click file explorer ah well look at there that setting did fix the issue okay we can click any of these looking good very good so that was the issue with this was uh, changing a default uh, option in the file explorer options so let's take a look at that again because if that didn't work there are a couple of more things you can try so let's go back to where we were view options change folder and search options move this over here a little bit so if just if just changing that one option did not work for you so what you want to do here is just go down to the privacy area here and you want to just uncheck these two boxes here and then click OK if that still doesn't work then you want to go to the view tab here and go down to show preview handlers in preview pane so this right here is the one that you want to uncheck and then click OK there and after doing that you should be able to access your file explorer with no problem hey guys I'm Tim with Tim's computer fix.net hey head over and hit that thumbs up and like button please I would really appreciate that subscribe to my channel that would also be a great way click the bell so you know when I upload more videos hope this helps somebody out till next time everyone see you soon